Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will learn about lazy loading routes in ReactJS. So we'll talk about how to use this lazy loading routes and how exactly we can use our components in a lazy format. Before going to the implementation part, let's understand what this lazy component means and how it impacts our performance and how it increases our performance. Let me go into the browser. So here, let me inspect this and inside the source we'll be using this folder structure that means this is in development mode hence we can see all the folder structure whatever we are using in our local host if you see this this is my src and if you see the pages it is the complete folder structure which we have created this is an src inside that src we have pages we have login we have products we have register so all these are the different pages and if you see here we have details and product js so product js indicates the products page and details indicates the details page but what happening over here it's simple when I am using a register, why I have to load all this like login or products. So maybe the user only want to register but do not want to use all other different components. Then in that case, loading all the components on the first instance is not recommended. For example, in this case, we have only four pages. But if you have more than four pages, like 100 pages of application or 200 pages of application, it's not always recommended to load all the different types of components at a time which are not used in our application. So that means at that particular instance, whatever the required components are there, that will be visible and that should be loaded. So that's how we will be implementing by using lazy loading. Lazy loading helps us to load the components on demand basis. Whenever I want to go to a particular page the page related components will be loaded for the first time and for the second time if they are reused they will not be loaded again instead they will be reusing the existing loaded components so let's see about that let me clear this and now let me go here let me go into our app.js here inside the app.js we are loading all these components at once and we are trying to get the data but that's not the case with lazy loading what we can do is we can load each and every component and we can inject that in our configuration of our routes so in this case what i'll do is i'll make each and every route into lazy component so now let me go with const login and the login is something coming from lazy and if you see here lazy is imported from react so this lazy will take a callback function and that callback function should have the import statement import of what is the import logic over here for login for login it is dot slash pages slash login slash login so let me put here it's very simple to migrate now i can comment this off now let me go with the register so let me copy the same thing put it over here copy the register put it over here and now this part is importing from here and hence i'll change this import now i can remove the register now bar is a direct component so i don't want to load lazily instead i'll go with the products so list of products let me copy this and paste here let me go with the products and now let me copy these pages products path and now let me go with one more thing copy this and put it over here i'll go with details copy details and the details is coming from here copy and paste it so i don't want to use this two imports and save this now the complete application has been converted into lazy components in this case let me go here i have some problem with the loading indicator a component suspended while responding to the synchronous inputs let me hit this now you got the output now what will happen is let me go into the inspect and uh, i'm in the register component or a register page let me go into the source and inside this source let me open this into source pages and you can see only the register folder because i'm using only the register page that means register is on demand now other components are not demanded by the user hence they are not loaded now what i will do is i'll just go here let me minimize this and let me click on login when you click on login there is a suspense problem let me close this for now you are not able to see the ui because we have to give a suspense route whenever you are routing whenever the components are lazy loaded we need to have a callback because they will be called in an asynchronous format so that's what that's how we will be using a suspense 
so let me go with suspense callback suspense callback and let me go into this browser router paste here format this and let me give a fallback fallback is equal to I can give any of the data or the elements so for now I'm using a callback with h1 high and save this now this is my fallback let me use loading better save this go here and now you are in login let me refresh this and let me check the output go into the console and clear this off let me hit again and it is telling that functions are not valid as a react child this happens if you return a component instead of component so what it is asking me to return is I don't want to use this simple save this it's not a function callback let me go here and refresh it again now you can see everything is working as expected now let me go into the source and see now I am in the login page hence the loader hence our source should load only login page so it has loaded only the login page let me make it register let me click on register now everything is opening properly and now you can see the pages with register so that means now register has loaded now what I'll do is I'll just go into our products that means list of products so when I went into the list of products only products has been loaded along with the details because we are using a details over here because we are going with the default index value that means whenever I use an index for my child route it is loaded that's how we are loading the details if you are not using this index it will not load it will load only the products so that's how you can use your lazy loading on demand basis so you can load your components only on demand but not unnecessary components so that's how your lazy components will work in react router dom hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you